Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, Brandon and I are filming a video together and we're about to go out to dinner. So I just have like my base makeup, like foundation, concealer, and that's it. I don't have bronzer, contour, or anything. And so I'm gonna hand it to him and see what makeup he likes when I wear it. And then we're gonna dress each other. I'm gonna put him into an outfit that I like to see him wear. And then he's gonna pick out some clothes for me that he likes to see me wearing. And we're gonna go grab some ramen and we'll do like a little quickie vlog in the car. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already. And let's go ahead and get into the video. It's not up there. So that's why it looks weird like this, because it's cut to not look like this. Okay, you do it. This? No, not like that. No. Like messy? No. <laughs> Until it's cut to look textured down. Okay, whatever. Back when we first started dating, Christine, like, wasn't the best at doing makeup, so she used to do this, like, super thick wing, and I always, like, hated when she do it, did it like that. I had to tell her, like, nicely, like, you never told me, you just always said, I would come over right after doing my makeup and he'd be like, I like it when you do no makeup. And I would be so offended because I had just done my makeup. You're so passive aggressive. Okay, so anyways, but, what makeup do you want me to do? So I like it best when she does like a natural look. So no liner, maybe some eyelashes. I don't know what all this other stuff is, but just like a natural it when the, look. Do you like it when the highlights flake? Of course. Okay. Okay, I think I have something in mind. Okay. Please return in 20 minutes. Thank Make you. it five. Thank you, come again. Five? I think I get snatched five minutes. Okay, so first starting off, I'm gonna start with my eyes because I like doing my eye makeup first. I picked this up in Japan. If you guys have watched my Japan vlog, I did a Japanese beauty haul um, and I picked up a ton of skincare and this mascara and it was a lot of recommendations that you guys recommended to me, so I really, really have been loving this, especially if you have like straight eyelashes like I do. It makes my eyelashes look so long and it really keeps them curled all day and I feel like I can pack any other mascara on top and it'll just stay curled. And since I'm gonna put fake lashes on top, I'm just gonna leave it like that, but normally I'd go in with my Monsoor, big Monsoor, 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 my Lancome mascara and I got a little sample of this and I love it. I definitely will be buying the full size of this soon. And then I'm gonna go in with a little brush. This is my Morphe M4. For, for one brush and I'm gonna take my wet and wild bronzer and just gonna go in the crease of my eyes and just kind of define my crease a little bit that is what the definition looks like the lighting in here is like not the best so I will show you guys finished look in like optimal lighting in a second And then I'm gonna go in with my fave lashes from Alexander August Beauty. These are in Elysian and I love these lashes. And then while my lashes are setting, I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. This is something that I've been loving for a long time, my Real Maxi bronzer. Just gonna take some of the warm tones and warm up my face a little bit. Next, I'm gonna go in with my blush and finish up my face and I'm using my Bobbi Brown blush in the color of Clementine. And I'm just gonna pick up some of this and warm up my cheeks. Of blush is such a must to make you look super cute and it just makes your cheeks look so pouty I love it okay next I'm gonna go in and contour my nose and I have my Luxie brush Brennan likes when I contour my nose because it makes it look super cute next I'm gonna go in with my Becca opal highlighter and this I have forgotten about and I forgot how good this was like excuse me I'm just gonna set my face with my Milani, make it last. And then going in with my MAC lip liner in the color Spice, I'm gonna overline my lips a little bit just to make it look super pouty. And then going in with some lipstick, this is Burt's Bees Suede Splash. I have been loving this lipstick. It's in my nude lipsticks video if you guys haven't seen that yet. And that is it for the makeup. I'm gonna go show you guys in better lighting. This is the makeup. It's crazy how much, what is going on over here? It's crazy how much of a difference like good lighting makes. Brandon's back there picking my outfit cause it was so cute. He popped into the bathroom and was like, hi babe. I picked out your outfit. So I had something put together, but she said she'd already worn this outfit. He has picked out here this gray coat that I picked up from Japan from GU. If you guys know, you know. I picked this coat up for $50, um, which is incredible. And it feels like a really nice wool material. So 
He picked this out for me and then he... Green? I don't know about that, honey. I'm trying to be different out here, okay? Leave me alone. Also put my Carbon 38 leggings. These are like their famous Takara leggings. And I recently got this at a pharmacy event and I love these. I have them in a size medium, but these fit me really well and these are so buttery soft. I was looking at a white hoodie oh, that was size hoodie but with those pants and we're gonna get ramen and we're getting ramen okay so now he has my aritzia hoodie and we're gonna pair it with the classic old school vans of course yes um, i was thinking some nike hirachis but i'm kind of digging the yeah i like the, the vans, vans look. i would say he's pretty stylish and he was the one that really got me into sneakers when him and i first met every single cool sneaker that you'll ever see her wearing i either bought her or shown me about it yeah, me yeah. or something um wow, but this lighting makes my skin look great pretty much when he when i met him he was the one that really got me into i almost said skincare um Definitely he got not. he got me into sneakers and i feel like both of our styles has evolved a lot because he used to wear a lot of banana republic and like corduroy pants grandma took me shopping yeah so yeah and i feel like wanted. i feel like him and i our styles have kind of bounced off each other and it's developed more into this like street style vibe so he has a really good taste for street style and like very different things like he would buy me things that I wouldn't normally like see myself wearing and then I'd put it together in an outfit or wear it and it would look really good. So he has a really good eye for that. Um, so I'm actually going to let him pick his own outfit and then I'll give you my opinion on it. I think that'd be more fun. Alright, that sounds good. Okay. We literally split a closet and so... This is the half. Mind you, I pretty much had this whole closet filled before Christine got here because I moved down here before she did. Yeah. And so half of my stuff is literally out in the garage. Yeah. And I pretty much kept a lot of my nicer clothes, I guess, that you could say, inside stuff that I wear a lot. And these are my clothes? Not even halfway. I get like a third. Definitely, we're going to eat ramen, so I'm probably going to wear black too just in case it gets a little yeah saucy in there. I feel you. So this is a hoodie that I got down in Portland um from unspoken a streetwear brand down there Super it's kind of like a washed black i'm gonna pair that with i like when you wear ripped jeans ripped jeans yeah okay guess we're going with jeans hey i did a full snatch for this video okay how about these acid wash though no these are pretty fire though no we're gonna go black okay um these Kasubi jeans, cute, super comfortable. Definitely recommend if you guys out there want a really nice pair of jeans that are just like super comfy. Do they fit true to size? I would almost say the size down, like maybe just like one size, because yeah. they do, like when you wash them, they'll get super tight, but they stretch out quite a bit. They actually put like patches behind the rips so there's actually not holes and i actually kind of like that so next i actually changed my mind on the hoodie What's since that? i'm going with jeans so i'm gonna go actually with this hoodie that i got from nova for my buddy joe and noah for the non-cool kids is fashion nova fashion nova men fashion nova men highly recommend their stuff yeah that that um, hoodie was super soft and i borrowed it for when i went to tokyo and i wore it literally every single day what right. size is that one this is a this is a large if i bought another one i'd go with an xl yeah but i um, i think the large on me is like perfect i'll be right back okay cute you can tell he's kind of having fun with it a little bit just a little bit. Pair this with the hoodie. Cute. Um, this was a gift that I got for my birthday from my mom. And that's like a wool coat too. This is yeah. This, this is, is like a hundred percent wool. Yeah. It this... It's super. It's super nice because it has like a thick lining on the inside. So yeah. it's not like a. And it's got an oversized fit too. Flannel. So this is Brandon's outfit before. He looks like a dad. I was golfing. He even has a little dad belly. <laughs> And now we're gonna change. Ready? Three, two. A king. Like, 
what we like. So we just arrived and we are getting ramen. So excited. And it's also like 11 o'clock because I got out of boxing like not that long ago. So we're kind of having a later dinner. Also, Brandon like never brings his phone with him. My hair. I thought you were gonna open the door for me. Are you done opening the door for me? Hey, I opened it for you. Getting lazy. I went to Diddy Reese for the cookie, cookie ice cream sandwiches. Look how fat this is. Dang, this is good. Yeah, how good I mean, this was. it's not, they don't have like any special ice cream there. It's literally dryers, but it's just probably the best ice cream sandwich you'll get around. Yeah. Milk also actually has really good ice cream sandwiches. Probably better, honestly, but they're Way not better. open today. So we went to Suchita. Yep. Can you all see that? Roger that. Really good ramen. The only thing was I was I was comparing it to ramen that I had in Japan and I said it was pretty comparable, it was pretty good, but. Once you I, have ramen there, you don't go back. Yeah. And it was kind of Shocking. expensive. Like meal, a meal for both of us was after tip $50 and in Japan that would have costed $18 flat, nothing else, including the matcha, eggs and everything. I'm just spoiled. What are each of your favorite date night ideas? Him and I kind of talked about it in our Q&A, but I feel like him and I are very like low maintenance people. Very. Super. Like we will stay in, cook dinner together, watch a movie, and then call it a night. And we don't even, now that we're both here, we don't like both go out to dinner, both go out to dinner. Okay. Now that we're both here, we don't really go out to dinner. That often we kind of reserve it for like once, once a week maybe. Not even a nice place, just yeah. like a good. Yeah, a good place. We'll go out of our way about once a week to go have dinner, and so we're just super low maintenance. But um, Six Flags, I love Six Flags. And also, I have a seasons pass. Honey, I would really like to go to Universal Studios. I got a seasons pass, man. You gotta use that shit up. I would way rather just stay in. I'm not really a big going out. It's expensive. It's free for me, so I love it. I got I would say I pay for meals about 25. Yeah. 20. 25. 20%. 25. 20%. You think 25%? Yeah, I don't matter. We we try to make it kind of fair where like I'll get boba and movies. And then he'll get like the big the big bills. Big expensive dinners. But occasionally I will take the bill. But I actually love going to the range and like teaching her. I think that's really fun. Um, we've gone and done putt putt a few times, which that is also fun. really fun. Yeah, that was fun. I um, like. We I love to bowl. Yeah. Randomly. Um, it's so fun and, and like cheap too. You can you can spend a whole night there and spend like five to ten bucks on the both of you. What was your most memorable Valentine's Day? A long time ago, him and I were like really big on Twitter and he was active a lot on it as well. And I had retweeted oh, yeah. this tiara necklace from Tiffany that was hella cute. And he had seen that I retweeted it. And on Valentine's Day, we are in California, staying at his grandma's place. And I woke up like kind of late and he had texted me. I forget what you did, but I think you had texted me saying breakfast was made or something. I walk outside and literally the corny, corniest thing ever, but there are roses laid on the ground, like in this little path and attached to the roses was a note. On every single rose, there's a note of like something that he loved about me. And so all the roses led up to another bouquet of roses. And then there was a little teal Tiffany box with a little bow. And he was sitting there and I think you had made breakfast too, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, he had made breakfast too, and I remember seeing the box, and I was like, what the heck, honey? And I was already, like, pretty emotional after reading all those notes, but then I sit down, I open up the box, and it's a little tiara necklace, and I just remember, like, uncontrollably crying, and you were telling me that you saw the Twitter picture, and you went and searched for that necklace, didn't you? Okay. This was, like, a year into it. Two years. A year and a half. Two years? Yeah. Yeah. Your now we're really low maintenance. I know, like, gifts. We don't do gifts. Yeah, this Christmas we really didn't do, like, gifts. Well, he bought me Final Cut Pro, so 
he, he did. Probably the same one or when we went to Canlis. More so just the experience there. And it was really funny because when we were there, if you guys go on Infatuation, if you don't know what Infatuation is, it's pretty much exactly like Yelp. But anyway, they have like a, a hilarious review on Canlis and um, pretty much Canlis, if you guys don't know, is like the bougiest, one yeah. of the bougiest restaurants that you could ever go to. And it's like $200 for a like four or five course meal. And the portion sizes are not big at all. I mean, we left full. Yeah, we full. left full, but I mean, you don't get that much food. Was empty too. Yeah, it was more like an experience type situation, you know. As soon as you like get to the table, they like pull out the whole ass table for you. They seat you, and then they push the table back in. And then we were reading the review that like it was saying all the servers were like robots, and they'll take out hand steamers tucked into their pockets and hand steam the tables in front of you and as we were reading this in the review we looked up and there was a server literally hand steaming a table like in front of us and it was like the most hysterical thing ever yeah i feel like that was just like a really enjoyable night as well yeah. for both of us so, it was yeah. just a good night yeah i think for him and i like special events we don't really do gifts that often it's more like a nice dinner experience yeah that just like. just each other's company yeah do you guys plan together or surprise each other? Well, if it's a special occasion, usually we'll surprise each other. Like yeah. for his birthdays, I always surprise him with like taking him to a nice place. Um, yeah. My birthdays, vice versa. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah, but if it's like together, we're gonna go out somewhere. We usually tell each other. I was wondering what your opinion on sorority made. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think it's related. So him and I have dated now for four years and a little extra. We talk about anything, we poop, we fart. Okay, we don't we don't need to go into all this. I've touched his butthole. Like I'm logged into his Instagram on my Instagram app. I'm not really on my phone that much. And I think earlier in the video she made fun of me because I left my phone in the car. Cause yeah. I, I'm just not on my phone all that often. So half the time when I even go to my Instagram, I'll I'll go to her page to see if she's posted something new and, I'm, and I'll notice. And this is before I even knew she was logged into my account. I was like, huh, I don't remember seeing this photo, but <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> and the thing is like, I don't log into his account to be like creepy or like lurk or anything because I'm not worried about that. I do it more so that like when I post on my account, I can have accounts like and save it right away because your engagement is based off of like the first 10 minutes to an hour of like how quickly people like comment or save your photo so if it has a lot of activity from the beginning it's more likely to be on the explore page so just like instagram analytics stuff so it was more of a like from a blogger's perspective i would like mm -hmm. to have likes and saves right away from as many accounts as possible so i log into his account so i can do that okay. so you girls that are messaging him See you, she sees it all anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this more casual date night get ready with us video if you enjoyed give this video a thumbs up and plus my videos normally get around 100 to 200 favorites so we said if this video gets 500 favorites i'll let him do my makeup for a video if it gets a thousand thumbs up i get to do his makeup Shit, guys. So Go make ahead sure and thumbs down this video. Thumbs up this video. Let's try to get it to over a thousand so he doesn't even have any type of argument. But if we can get it to a thousand thumbs up, I get to do his makeup. If it's less than that, he'll do my makeup. Definitely thumbs down this video. <laughs> okay, anyways, bye.